Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is episode number 71. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this episode's a day late, <laughs> just because this past week has been crazy busy. Um, I don't know, we've been going non-stop, and so things are finally slowing back down. So hopefully, I can get back on track with videos. Jesse is running around, so he'll probably make appearance a few times. And my hair is a little weird looking because my hairbrush has been MIA for five days. Jesse's done something with it and I can't find it, so I'm having to just brush my hair with my fingers <laughs> until I find it. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop in. I've got some finished objects today and um, one whip, I think. Yeah, one whip. I haven't started anything new. I was trying to finish up some things. I technically have three whips, four whips. I just haven't worked on three of them. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. But we're going to finish objects real fast. First, I made this little uh, stocking ornament. And it's just like the one I made a week or so ago. Except I did the colors different. I did it for um, 2319 which is February 3rd and in it's a Disney reference but I made this little stocking <laughs> it's just the same pattern I used for the Christmassy one which is called the mini stocking Christmas ornament by Sorella and then I just uh, embroidered or stitched on whatever uh, the 2319 this is just so I can put it on our Christmas tree this year and remember that this year was 2319 but again it's a Disney reference uh, any Disney head out there will know what it is <laughs> If not, it's just a weird sock with some numbers on it. But yeah, so. And it's just Red Heart Super Saver white. And this is kind of like embroidery floss uh, black. That's that one. Uh, I got another finished object that a lot of y'all would have seen if you're on Facebook. Or, and on um, Kayla's Facebook group for Yarn Bingo. Llama Mama. Oh, he's got a fuzz on him. Turn it off. Ta -da! <laughs> But it is my Scraps the Single Bird by a name I can't say. Jesse just came in here and he's got a bunch of toys, so it might get loud. <laughs> but this is Scraps. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just be careful. Oh, I'm trying to get that crab. There it is. I think it's super adorable. There's a hair somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, it's a paid for pattern. It was gifted to me and I've been wanting to make it forever, so I just went ahead and made it. <laughs> It's just so cute, I think. <laughs> it turned out way bigger than I thought it was going to, but that's perfectly fine because it's adorable. I think I used all Red Heart. I know it's white, black. I think this is called light gray. And this is the gold color. I can't remember exactly what it's called. And then he does have safety eyes. Last week, uh, I had his body done and I already finished off. And I had to rip it out a little bit because I forgot to put the eyes in. Again, I do that a lot uh, with my amigurumis. <laughs> so I did put his eyes in and then he's got little eyebrows stitched on. I think he's cute. He'll sit up on a table and he's just a cute little seal. <laughs> I love him. I'd, I'd actually like to make some more just to have him randomly over, all over the okay, house. Mama. That's good. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> but yeah, he's adorable. I love him. Okay, I got two more finished objects. Uh -uh, don't throw your toys, okay? Mommy's trying to film. I like my new toys. Yeah, I'm glad you like them. These last two finished objects don't have patterns. I just did my own thing. I winged it. But I wanted a hat made out of um, all of this yarn. Painted Canyon. I had it for a while, so I just made a hat. It's like a basic uh, double crochet. Yeah, double crochet hat. Look at the gold rock, All the way down rock, to Mama. the brim. Yeah, it's cool rock. It's gold and rock. then for the brim, I did, I think, three rolls of front it's post, back post, double crochet to give it like a what's that what's what we're looking for i can't remember <laughs> like people do when they knit <laughs> whatever that's called a border thingy <laughs> ribbing ribbing and then i think i went around it with single crochet just to uh bring the stitches in a little tighten it up but yeah i like it i wanted a actual beanie that was like on my head because most of my hats are slouchy and i wanted one that was snug so I made this one, and I like it. The only thing that's funny is if I wear it. <laughs> you're funny. You're funny. No. I get the imprint of the brim on my forehead. <laughs> the other day I was wearing it because it's cold, and when I went in the store, I took it off, and I realized that I had, like, lines right there. But, I mean, I, it's not a big deal. I don't care. <laughs> so there's my hat. And then I wanted a cowl, and this is done. I just haven't weave, weaving in, woven in the ends yet. So I made a matching cowl. You can't really see it that good on the camera, but in person. 
I started with a row single crochet and then I did three rows of the front loop or back and front post and then I did four rows of double crochet and then the three rows of front and back and then four and then front and back and then I, and then I ended with a single crochet. I coughed and I had to edit that out. But yeah, I like it. It's a little tall. But I like cows that are closer to my neck because they actually work. <laughs> Instead of being hung down and my neck is still cold. I like the actual functional cows, not the decorative. So I really like the size of this because with the hat. Let me find the See. With the hat, and if it's cold outside, I can just kind of pull this up. I have my whole face tucked in while I'm walking through the wind or something. And uh, yeah, I like it. I think it's pretty, and I like the the texture. I think I might remake these same patterns, but with a solid color like gray or something, so that you could see the the texture better. But I think I did pretty good for my own pattern without, um, you know, doing someone else's pattern. Ooh. I'm getting better at doing my own patterns, so maybe eventually I can actually write some patterns. <laughs> yeah, so that is all my finished objects this week. Now, I only have one active whip. I am still doing the 2017 and 2019 Jada and Stitches calendar blankets, but the 2019, she hasn't released the second part to, so I can't do it. And I just haven't worked anymore on the uh, 2017 one, but I am caught up through March, so I have a little while to be lazy. Uh, and the other blanket, the unraveled mitten one is the squares the every other Wednesday and so then the third square hasn't released yet I think it should release this uh, the 13th yeah the Wednesday before thank uh, Thanksgiving <laughs> um, whatever this holiday is Valentine's Day so the only active whip I have is my <coughs> cozy Christmas cushion by Love Crochet it is a free pattern on their website I I didn't hardly work on it at all. I worked on it a little bit while watching 9 to 5 the other day. So I did finish the first panel completely. I uh, did the border. It's going to be a big pillow. <laughs> I did the border around it and it's just in cherry red from Red Heart. And there's still a bunch of ends, but I'm not planning on weaving any of those in. The only ones I'm planning on weaving in are these ones and I'll probably just stick them through it and then tie them in knots. Because it's a pillow, they don't have to be woven. They're hidden. And then I did start the second um, panel, but just barely. <laughs> I have to do like 46 rolls of single crochet back and forth. And I just, I did like two and a half. <laughs> so I got a lot to do on that pillow before it's done. I'm going to try to finish it up in February so that I can enter it into Nicola DeRob's Creations um, Color Work Cow. 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 Not cowl. <laughs> because the color work on this front panel is color work. <laughs> So I want to enter it in that uh, crochet along if I can finish it before the end of February, which I might be able to. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> Alright, that's all my active whips until those blankets, um, I get around to making more of those blanket squares or the other two release their next parts. I wanted to mention Kayla at Llama Mama's Yarn Bingo. Um, I'll link her channel below and her Facebook group for Yarn Bingo below if I can remember. <laughs> I'm bad at remembering that. But um, I'm, I printed out hers, February one, little, and I've almost got my first bingo right here. And I can use this one very easily because it's use yarn from your stash and all my yarn is stash yarn. So, yeah. so I've almost got my first bingo. The, um, the seagull, the hat and the cowl, and I frogged a blanket. Those are the ones that I've gotten so far plus the free space. So I'm getting there and I, I put stickers on mine just because I like stickers. I got my nails done. Aren't they cute? <laughs> but, um, that is cute. What else? Oh yeah, also from Kayla, I ordered one of her stitch markers that her and her son made. I think she made these ones. It's a little macaron. I got the pink one because I love pink. It has a lobster claw on it and I'll probably change it out for one of those uh, lever backs just because they're easier for me to do. But it's so cute. I want to get a whole bunch more whenever I have more money to spend on stuff like that. I really want one of the tacos because I love tacos. But I, I had to get this first because it's the cutest one ever. And I can't wait to use it. I'm going to actually put that out so that I can use it on my next project, whatever it's going to be. But yeah, that's really everything. I, I do want to mention that I have a, um, already have a shout out video filmed. I just got to edit it. And then I'm going to film a video for, explain with Paw Patrols. A f I got to film a video for crochet alongs because um, there's so many of them going on and I wanted to try to put them all in one space so that if you're interested in any of them, you can 
go to that video into the description box and I'll have all the links to all of them and all that so I gotta work on that in the next day or two and then I've got I still got some Amber Grimmy videos that I want to get up soon and I was gonna make a tutorial for the hat pattern that I made for Billy but um, I started filming it and then after I got halfway done with it I realized that it was filming in portrait mode instead of landscape so I had to delete all that and it was already too late in the day for me to start over because I had other stuff to do so I had to just put that on hold and I'm, I might make that this coming week I did write out the pattern that I used though and it is on the Facebook group in the announcements tab if you're interested in that you can go over there and see it um, written out the only the last thing I wanted to talk about is bags I'm working on some more Oops, I just moved the camera. I'm working on some more bags um, that'll be up in the shop this weekend. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to. I've already started cutting them, so they're already in pieces. <laughs> Alright, so of course there's going to be four more uh, llama bags because so many people have asked for them. But there's only going to be four more, and then I think that's going to be all the llama bags. So if you don't get a llama bag this round, I'm probably not going to make any more unless there's a really big demand for them. But I'm getting kind of tired of making llama bags. But there will be four sets of bags and notion pouches coming up of llama print. And then I will have two sets of this pretty bright flowers and it's got some butterflies on it. I think it's got butterflies. No, no, it doesn't look like it's got butterflies. I thought it did but I bought it. I think it's just flowers. <laughs> but it's still really pretty. And then I will have two of these. I really like this. You know, obviously it's close to Valentine's Day and it'll be after Valentine's Day when I get these posted. But I really like this print and it could just be love, you know. It's still just love. It's not necessarily just Valentine's. <coughs> Alright, and then I'm going to have two sets of the dogs. Oh, that was really cute. Two sets of kitty cats. And this, I love this print. And this is butterflies for sure. <laughs> Two sets of these. I love this print and the color of it is just really pretty. And then the last is flower, another floral print. Really pretty. I think this looks vintagey. It's like a pale pink color. So it's really pretty and vintagey looking. But yeah, so all together that'll be 18 cents, I think, <laughs> going up this weekend. Um, I'm working on them now. Today is Sunday the 10th, so I should have them all done before the 15th. That's a Friday. That's next Friday. They should start going up the 15th, unless something happens this week. But if something happens, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, so I'm already, they're already all laid out here getting cut, and then I'll start piecing them tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, you can look forward to those in the shop. And I will put an update on my Facebook group when they do get, um, added to Etsy, so, he's being wild, but that's okay, he's sitting right here in a chair playing, hey Jesse, what are you doing, you playing with your Paw Patrols, he's obsessed with Paw Patrol at the moment, I think his birthday party will be themed Paw Patrol or Power Rangers, it depends on what kind of plates and napkins and stuff I can find, because <laughs> he loves Paw Patrol and Power Rangers. Yeah, I think that's everything for this episode. It's really short, but it's just because uh, we've been so busy this week, I haven't really done anything. Um, I got a bunch of acquisitions for Valentine's Day, but none of them have anything to do with yarn except the stitch marker. The rest of them are mostly paper craft top stuff that I got. And uh, I did get my hair cut. <laughs> it's shorter in the back than it is in the front. It's like angled, but it's not flat ironed right now because it's morning time. It's not even 10 o'clock, so I haven't done anything to it but brushed my fingers through it. And I did get my nails done. I don't know how good you can see them. They're pale pink, and then this has X's and O's. And this has, like, kissy lips on them. I'm going to try to start getting my nails done every two weeks. Just to be more girly. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm trying to look around. I don't think I forgot anything. I did hang up some... I hung up my big letter board and I got an art piece right there and one up above it you can't see it and then these lights I hung up they go around the top of the room too because it's I got it for $9.99 but it was 40% off at Hobby Lobby and it's 39 feet of those little lots they're copper wire lots or something like that and I'd like to get another roll of them but they only had one there that day to put around the rest of the room and those really aren't for the videos they're more, more for myself because I got a chair here you can't see it you can kind of see part of it right there. 
but it's just so when I'm sitting in here and I got a TV right there and I'm casting my YouTube videos, watching everybody's podcasts, I can just sit here with those lights on and it just makes me happy. So um, I'm trying to make my office more fun to be in so that while I'm sitting here at the table uh, cutting material or sewing or sitting here crocheting that I'm in a more happier space for myself. Uh, so that's why I started getting art pieces and stuff. I'm just trying to make it more of a homier office for me. If that makes any sense. Just kind of Jesse. Hey, be quiet for just a minute, okay? Look. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here so that he can finish playing. But I will have some more videos up this week. Uh, keep an eye out for them. And I'm sorry this one is so short, but you know it's been a short week. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.